Hi everybody, I wanted to do a video on char and string data types and um, I basically wanted to go over some of the material that we covered and do some examples. In particular, what I want to do is I want to write some code uh, using um, my pen here uh, and at the same time show you what's happening in, in memory. One thing that I would like to advise everybody is that when you look at code, you should be able to fully understand what's happening in, in, in memory. So uh, draw these memory diagrams uh, for yourself often and um, make sure that you're understanding what everything is, where everything is being stored. So let's say we have a program and we're going to say int a equals 10 going to have int b i'm going to have char call it ch char my char let's say capital a um oops and uh let's say i have string so this is actually capital s for string so string let's say name string let's say city and i'm going to initialize it to Calgary. So let's draw the memory diagram for this. So uh, the first line that's going to execute is uh, is is this one in particular. So computer works it, it works step by step, right? The instructions are executed in sequential order. So first, this is going to this is the first line that's going to be executed. This is the second line. This is the third line, and so on and so forth. So let's draw the memory diagram here. Okay. And let's say, so we're going to have A. Right away, we initialize A to 10. Then we're going to have B. B is not initialized, so B, the value, is garbage. Then we have a char ch, so ch, again, it's not initialized, right? So ch is garbage. We have my char, it's initialized to a. We have a string name, and I said the string is unique. It doesn't actually occupy memory unless it has been initialized. So nothing exists for it yet and then we have string city which has been initialized to Calgary so so it's like that and the indices are 0 1 2 3 4 five and six okay now I if I go ahead and let's say write the rest of the code in um, red so it, it, it shows so if I go ahead and I say ch and I reassign it let me say to lowercase c Now, the value of ch is going to change, so ch is going to hold c now. It's, it's, not, it's no longer garbage. Similarly, if I just said integer b, if I reassign if I assign something to b, so if I said b equals to 20, b is going to be 20. Now, if I assign the value of a to b, uh, or b to a, if I said a, and I assign the value of b to a, so the value of b will be placed in a, so a is no longer 10, it's going to change to 20. 
if I say a plus plus, this is pretty much the same as saying, so let me write this in common, this is pretty much the same as adding 1 to a, so the value of a is actually going to be 21, so I'm going to erase what's inside of here, so it's going to actually become 21. So I'm just going to update everything. So we have C in here and 20 here. Okay. So let's continue. Um, we're going to continue writing some more code. What if I said my char plus plus? What would that do? What that does is it adds 1 to the value of my char. So right now my char holds a, a. If I add 1 to a, what happens? The ASCII value of a, capital A, going back, capital A is 65. The ASCII value, right? So when I say my char plus plus, I'm saying whatever is inside of my char, increase it by one. So this is going to change to B. So I'm going to erase it for cleanliness. Uh, and so that is clear. So my char is B. What if I said, let's say CH. And I said CH equals my char. So here I'm saying that whatever is in my char, I'm going to assign that to CH. So right now B is in my char. So we're going to assign it to CH. So inside of CH, we're going to have... Um, we're going to have B. Okay. Um, if I go like this, print F, and I say print what is in CH, what is going to be printed now is B. If I go and I, actually, sorry, it's not printf, I, I do apologize. This is, so let's say print ln, and in ch, it's gonna, b is gonna be printed. If I said print ln, and if I wanna print the ASCII value of what's inside of ch, what do I do? I would need to typecast, so I would need to, um, let's let's change the color. I would need to say int ch. So I would need to say basically convert the value that is inside of ch to an integer. So what is going to be printed out? The ASCII value of b, which happens to be sixty six, will print out. Um, so that makes sense. Now let's um, do an example with uh, with uh, with strings. If I said string. name string let's say city so let's draw this name and city
So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What if I wanted to print out the very first character in inside of city? I would say print ln and I would say um, city dot char at and I would say index zero this is going to print out C right because that's index zero what if I want what if I did the same thing for name so what if right now I went and I said print ln name dot char at zero so this little program that I'm writing maybe write it on processing and see what it does maybe pause the video right now and just see what it does and then come back to the video for me to explain it you probably guessed it right if you've been watching the videos what happens is this is going to result in and out of bound error so this is this is a mistake this whole line why is that a mistake because name does not have an index zero so you're saying show me the char at index zero and there is no index zero name doesn't have any memory so it's going to be a, a out of bound error if on the other hand so so this is wrong if on the other hand I said right now I define I gave name a value so I said name Sam then name is going to have S A M indices 0 1 and 2 and now I could go ahead and have that line so now if I said print ln name dot char at index zero I'm going to get s printed out um, another thing if I said if I if down here and I did this in the video but I'm going to just reemphasize that if I go ahead and I reassign city for example so if I said city and I reassign it to um, another name let's say Edmonton then what happens is this is actually going to be erased so Calgary is no more in memory it's actually going to be completely erased and and it's it gets rid of it and you're going to have Edmonton In memory and that's index zero all the way to different indices so those are a couple of things that I wanted to mention uh, about um, a couple of examples that I wanted to do for char and for string um, let's do one more with with char and then we'll wrap it up um, so let's say we have char ch And that's lowercase a. So in memory, we're going to have a. What if I went and I printed this? So I said print ln and I said print ch plus one. If you recall, I said that in this case, basically what happens is the result of ch plus 1 so ch is 97 uh, the ascii value is 97 so so the computer treats this as as an arithmetic operation so it just says ch plus 1 and it prints out 98 in this case do you think the value of ch so ch is the ascii value for b by the way but lowercase b do you think the value of ch changes no it doesn't right so it the value doesn't change just like if i had int 
a is 20 and if I said um, uh, what are we doing <laughs> and if I said print ln so we have a as 20 and if I said print ln a plus 1 here you're going to have 21 printed but the value of a doesn't change because you haven't actually assigned anything to a you're just reporting the result of um, an addition right and this kind of worked out in, in in coincidence so that here I have a as a character and here I have an a as a variable and they're completely different so hopefully this tutorial has uh, been helpful. Um, go ahead and, and program the, the code that I've written, play around with it, uh, get more experience with it, and uh, this should help you quite a bit in the upcoming lab. Thank you.